Now let's turn to our top story of the night. The Wood County Commissioners are preparing to start working on the county budget for the next fiscal year. Our Chase Campbell has more on what some county officials say they need. During their meeting Monday, the Wood County Commissioners heard from several county officials about their budget requests going into the next fiscal year. Though particular needs varied from office to office, one request was universal. We are asking for a 7% raise. A 7% increase. I did ask for an increase with my employees. Uh, we asked for for 5%. I've asked for 5%. Prosecutor Pat Lefebure, Assessor David Noe, Circuit Clerk Celeste Ridgway, Sheriff Rick Woodyard, and 911 Director Mike Shook all asked the commissioners to fund raises for their employees. Several said they have concerns about hiring and retaining staff. Had four positions come open, I was able to hire and fill them. Within the year, I lost them to other court offices. Parkersburg PD is looking at giving a $6,000 increase. State Police just got another $4,000 increase. We've lost six full-time dispatchers to Washington County. Aside from raises for existing staff, some officials spoke about a need to add additional positions. Prosecutor Pat Lefebure hopes some of the county's $800,000-plus dollars of opioid settlement funds can go toward hiring an additional attorney to focus exclusively on drug cases. I want them handling not only felony drug cases, but some of the misdemeanor ones also, because they need to have an idea of who who is who, and you know, is this person an addict who needs an opportunity, or is this person more of a dealer um, that needs to go to prison? The county has yet to decide how the opioid settlement dollars will be spent. The commissioners will continue to hear from other county officials in the coming weeks and months as they plan the budget. The county's 2024 to 2025 fiscal year starts on July 1st. In Parkersburg, Chase Campbell, WTAP News. This is home.